Okay, so to start off, we've got these four 12 screws, however big these are with their finishing washers, that will attach the, the sides of the rungs of the basket to the, the opposite sides of the basket. We've got the four screws here that tack down the bottom of the basket to the rest of it so it doesn't slide and shuffle around. Then we've got four of these bolts and washers with their, you know, hardware embedded inside that attach the bottom center to the two posts standing up and then our bag of extra hardware. This just makes life easier and faster. The socket to take care of the bolts and then the two flatheads to work with these. So the first part that's going to be set up is kind of going to be like a, a Tetris puzzle that will require everyone to have all of the hands. And the bottom is going to be placed into this groove here along with the adjacent one. And then this one's going to be put in this groove here. And we have to do it all at once so the bottom doesn't fall out. So it's good to have two people? Yeah, it, it, multiple hands is almost required. Not a puppy? <laughs> And then what about those? These two are going to be the rungs that the basket hangs from, and it's going to have the center support in between it bolted to it. They also have the hooks on it to stop the basket from swinging, should that be desired. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put all this together at one yeah. place. I'm holding this end. Now, does it, does it go down like this? Nope. That'd be, that'd be nice. It does not. Uh, how do you get it to? I think you just gotta wiggle it, I guess. Like that? Uh, that's, yeah, like that. Now what? Now we screw it together. Screws, do we go first? We're going in the group of 12. So, do we turn it over? Nope, we keep it like this. We need to tack in the sides here. These? Yes, these ones. Oh, these are flathead. I got a Phillips bit. Do we need flatheads? Um, it, it's got to be time consuming what? if we don't. So, well, we need it. Where is it at? Uh, I assume. Probably next to where I got the drill. I just assume these are Phillips because that's. So if I hold here while you go down? Yeah, we, well, Can probably you most likely. Okay, that did that. You now, want me to do this one? Yeah, I'll come around to do just the one screw. Close me. Hey, hey, Thanks, hey. Callie. What are you doing? That's not for Callie to play with. No. Cool. So that should be all four of the corners tacked in. Now it's just a matter of doing the other eight screws. Okay. Eight more screws. Eight more screws. Hold on this. Okay. 
still have a puppy as a helper. Yep. <laughs> Hi. That's my ear still. <laughs> Hi. He says, I like the boy. I want to play with the boy. I do, I know. He's working. He's working. <laughs> Phillips bit that I got. What? And then I realized, oh, we need a flathead. So then I went to go get the flathead bit. Yeah. And then I took the Phillips bit and then put it away. Yeah. I don't have the Phillips bit anymore. Why not? Because I put it away. You put it? <laughs> no. Whatever. And the next step is going to be to put this on those. Put put the middle rung between the two legs to hold up the basket. Okay. Your helper. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at the initials here. This one has an MN. That one there has an SN on the bottom of it. And this, the rung that goes in between them has a coordinating, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. MN and SN. So the MN is going to go with the one that has the MN and then the vice versa. And from what I remember, the initials go on the bottom, maybe? I don't remember. Hi. It's my nose. Kelly, can he work? Kelly, he's got work to do. No, cannot work. No. <laughs> I love the boy. Okay. Now, now we take the bolts and the washers. Out of the hole. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. No, Callie, those aren't for you. Not a toy. And those were just there for storage sake, so I didn't have to lose them in a bag. Because those, those inserts were a pain to figure out. All right. Okay. And then we put them on to here. Yep. And then we attempt to bolt them. And I've got the, what are those things called? Not the nut, the socket behind me. Okay. So, so we're going to come back to that in just a second. Yes. Put the, uh, get that, that one started. Nope, that one's still fighting. Oh, what's wrong with you? number socket that is or are we just um this is a 13 millimeter socket but that is not what this bolt is this bolt is in standard and all i could find was a metric socket and i mean that's what we used last time so there is a little bit of looseness in this am i twisting this the right way oh right, goodness it goes this way righty so i need to have uh how do i switch this around like that yeah, there we go. Okay, is it still starting? It is, okay, cool. Sorry. When doing it backwards like this, it, it's all inversed. Okay, that's going left. Yes. You wanna go, oh, you yeah. wanna go right. Yeah, cause this is it letting go. This is it actually turning it. Oh, gotcha, okay. That took me so long to figure out. <laughs> that the way that it was making the noise was not the actual direction it was turning. Tighten for the most part. Good thing we only have four of those, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I have seen they do make uh, socket extensions that allow you to put a socket on a drill. Just for like when you have to get this half, like when you've got a full half inch, you just got to get it down before you can so even start tightening. Is it really quick? Yeah. Sometimes you just need something to spin wildly. Nice. Okay, so, the, so we have these two parts here. We've got, uh, see if I can remember. This one section that has the screw part in it goes through the hole that's on the basket of the cradle. And then this part here in turn will then go through here, which then it will be met with this on this side and then the screw will be tightened. 
to go through it, and that's how that's attached. You do that on either end. Uh, one set of these has Sharpie marks on it. I think, yeah, one, one set of these has Sharpie marks on it. That's because this size has a lot of, it had a lot of friction, and it specifically goes with whichever one of these holes also has Sharpie marks in them. I, I can't tell which one it is from here. How are you guys doing? Did you want me to carry your stuff in for you? No, thank you. I say hello to the puppy. Do you see a Sharpie mark? I see the absence of Oh, there's of a, a Sharpie. Place. There's one here. Yeah, cool. So I see the absence of a Sharpie mark here. So. Okay, so we got to get the cradle up. It's a little Buster. Buster is crazier than this. <laughs> She's a good girl. Gotta go. All right, and, uh, so we're going to... Diaper. Until you're down there. Okay, ready? Okay. Uh, uh, copper ringlet and then a less copper ringlet, I think. I can't tell. And I think those are supposed to match with these. One is copper, one is silver, or brass, rather. Oh. Okay. But I'm looking, I'm misremembering because these both seem to be brass. So. Huh. Huh. Okay. I like it. Okay. So ready? now it's going to be so much easier with two people. One lifts the other side and brings it up. Okay, so we're gonna do that off yeah. film. We have no idea what's going on or why we're having the problems that we're having. Like that goes in just fine like that. With out the thing. He's a cutie. He's such a little cutie. This one this one seems to be friction, like it doesn't Yeah, we we had that when we were first setting that up. I honestly couldn't tell you why. Now what, what on earth is your problem here? The puppy. <laughs> She's supposed to be helping us. Yeah. Help her in giant your poops. <laughs> giant. <laughs> She's in good shape. She's a... <laughs> She's probably hungry. She hasn't eaten dinner. Oh, yeah. I think she's definitely hungry. Because, uh... She was in the Michael's car all day. going to have fun for the next week. <laughs> Two puppies. How are you, MJ? Fine. Is it I working? Think, uh, I hope so. It feels like I've been making progress. This one's a little... And then we oh, put screws, good. and we have screws yeah. that go around the outside here. Yeah, and that does hold it in just a little bit, so... Is it in? Sure. Looks good. That seems tight there. I I don't think it, it's not going to burst into flames, so... I think it's or gonna, fall off. It's yeah. going to be fine. Yeah, that, that's the other important part. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna get these little screws, but we gotta get a tool. So we've got two parts here. We've got the four screws, and they're gonna be going in the four holes. We would have done this sooner, except I was, you know, foolish enough to put away the bit when I went to go. You got yeah. Our food, Charlotte? Yeah. yeah. So these need to go in here. I'm holding this together. This is going to go through this bottom part and then into the side rung. And and all that is is so that this doesn't move around. As yeah. Well. So the, it doesn't move left and right, which wouldn't be a big problem because you've got the mattress on top of it, but it's just more of a, pre a preventative nuisance. Preventative nuisance. I love it. So now we've got this, the mattress that has the waterproof thing, and I think a giant pillowcase? It's a king, king-sized king. pillow okay. size. Really? Because I, I think we've had other king-sized pillowcases and they've been too small, so. And that's been traveling across country, so we want to put blankets on there. Yeah. And then there you go. And there you go. And then do you uh, yes. connect so it? If you come down here, there's these, which if... Hopefully they they were done correctly. They should just hook. So, no, oh, good lord. I'm gonna have to fight this. There we go. So that now the cradle won't rock severely. Cool. Yeah, that's how it was. All right, Jalen. How many times have we put this together now? Uh, this is gonna be my second time. I've. I thought you put yes, it together. I, I think I put it together a total of two times, although the first time 
it took a long time because hardware had to be bought and it was destroyed and we had to fight it a little bit so and how many times have you taken it apart i think i've only taken fully from you know full to completely disassembled it's only been once but i mean from i've lost track <laughs> Going but, from like partially built but you've, to the descent. But you've done a great job, and it's like you're a king here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Wave to Matthew you guys and Katie yeah. and baby Miles. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good luck. You're going to need it. <laughs> All right. Bye.